Hello everybody, this is Abraham at Nashar Computer Services and today I'd like to show you uh, Belkin Thunderbolt Port Replicator. What this does is it takes the Thunderbolt cable from your Mac and converts it to a gigabit Ethernet, 800 Firewire, um, and three USB 3 ports. So if you're going to be doing any kind of serious uh, data transfer on your Mac, USB 3 is going to help. Uh, but Macs do not come with USB 3, so this is the only way to do it that I know of right now. Um, so we have the Mac, I should say iMac, uh, Mac Pro. You might have some options with Mac Pro meaning that you could get a USB 3.0 uh, expansion card. But I don't know how well they work. So, beside getting the built-in uh, adapter, you also have to have some things on your Mac, and you have to have Mac that's compatible. So, number one, you cannot install it on Lion. It has to be on Mavericks. So I had to reinstall Mavericks uh, or upgrade my Mac to Mavericks uh, 10, 9, and uh, so this Mac right now has uh, OS 10, 9. Uh, to make it work, just plugging in is not enough. You have to download the driver. So we'll go to belkin.com and search. We'll type in. Uh, the model number is F4U055. Enter. So we get our page for the dock and uh, we just click on driver. Download. It's only 282K, so it's fairly small. So there we have it. We've just downloaded. We can minimize our window and we'll click on it and we get this error. This is something new that I haven't seen before. So <clears throat> basically says your security preferences allow installation of only apps from the Mac App Store and identified developers. So apparently Belkin is not an identified developer there is a way to make this thing work. Uh, we have to go to system preferences, security and privacy, and you can either click open anyway and that'll open this application for now or you can change the preferences and say um, let's unlock it All right and we can click anywhere and it's gonna say again allow from everywhere or anywhere you mean you're gonna be installing viruses on my Mac yeah I will if I need to deal with it it's my problem not yours and now if we click on it allows you the installation so we click continue install password in install continue <coughs> so the driver for this thing is going to be installed we're going to have to restart the computer and then we'll test it out It's an awful lot of time to install a 280 kilobyte driver. All right. And now we restart.
Okay. Doesn't tell you anything that it's been installed or. But the only way we could do is test it with uh, a hard drive. It doesn't have to be a USB 3 hard drive or anything. Um, just first available. And. Alright. It works. So we'll just go through initialization. It's a small hard drive, partition, one partition, and that's okay. We'll just do master boot record. So that it's uh, readable by everybody. So apply, partition. All right. So, don't need it as a backup, and uh, what I want to do is make sure that, oh, let's see if we can find a file, okay, well, that's too small, 240k, um, alright, let's see how quickly it's going to copy it, I should have prepared a bigger file, oh, it's, it's small, it's not fair. I just had to install this uh, um, OS, didn't have time to get it prepared. So, let's see, we have um, boy, they certainly don't let you into the system to just make a copy. Oh, let's just copy an application. Uh, Safari. So 37 megabytes, that wasn't very fast. So I guess I'll be benchmarking and testing how fast this thing can move. Uh, this was USB 2 hard drive, I believe, that I was using. But I wanted to make sure that it works. So here you have it. Let me just show you the unit again and uh, do some explaining on it. So uh, in the stores it's about 200 bucks. It has this cut in the middle where you can feed cables through and have them coming out at the front. Um, I'm not sure why that's needed, but uh, I guess if it's there, it's there. Uh, it also has its own fairly powerful power supply. So this power supply will be able to power all of your plugged in hard drives or whatever you have that doesn't have its own power cord. Let's see, it is pumping out 6 amps of current, so that's quite a bit. So this is a power-hungry device, um, well, rel relatively speaking. But uh, we'll see how it behaves, how it works, um, and uh, I'll do a video on that. So hopefully this answers some questions for someone who is looking to buy one. and. Uh, it does work. There are a few things you need to do to get it working, but uh, none of that was specified, by the way, uh, anywhere right away, I should say. It should have a sticker on it. You have to have 10.9. So, hopefully this helps somebody, and enjoy your day. Subscribe and like it. Thank you.